Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 things to remember before Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. For this list, we're going to be looking over the story beats you should keep in mind before Ichigo and company return for their hotly anticipated final season of Bleach. Keep in mind, this is for the anime onlys who haven't read the entirety of the manga. Think we missed out an essential piece of Shinigami trivia? Let us know in the comments. And if there's another Bleach list you want to see, go to my Twitter at AshJBo and let me know. Number 10. It's the final arc. Yeah, kind of obvious, but it's still worth mentioning. If you want to see some action. In case there was any confusion, the Thousand Year Blood War is Bleach's swan song. No more filler, no more future arcs waiting in the wings. This is the conclusion to all things Ichigo, Soul Society, and everything diehard fans have come to love, encapsulated over 200 chapters with of adapted material. All we can hope is that they pull it off well, but given the trailers so far, there's a reason why so many are excited. Number 9. Everyone's New Looks the drip is strong with the Gote 13. Yoken. Following on from their brief cameos during the end of the Fallbringer arc, we got to see that the heavy hitters of Soul Society had upgraded their looks since the days of battling Aizen, mostly for the better. Kenpachi looks beastly, Byakuya's trimmed his locks, Renji's rocking the headband, and Hitsugaya dropped the edgelord spikes for something infinitely cooler. Who says you can't slice up hollows and look good while doing it? Number 8. The Full Bringers To say these guys got royally messed up would be an understatement. Going from allies to villains during Ichigo's interim period as a Shinigami without any powers, this group of spiritually empowered humans was something of a step down when compared to the Espada. However, that doesn't mean they still won't play a part in the upcoming war. Ginjo and Tsukishima are dead and gone, but the likes of Riruka and Yukio are still around somewhere. Maybe they'll bring up the cavalry during the final battle. Soul Society could really use it. Number 7. It's being animated by Studio Pierrot. The old school studio returns to help finish what it started. While the visuals have certainly gone through their Bankai stage when compared to how things were back in the early 2000s, it's still very much Pierrot behind the wheels. Given how exquisite the likes of Boruto and Black Clover have looked in recent years, it's exciting to know that Bleach is going to get given the same treatment. We can only hope they put their best staff on for this one, since the arc is well known for a barrage of non-stop battles. Number 6. The Remaining Espada Serving as the main antagonists for Bleach's longest-running collection of arcs, the Espada were monsters in their own right. But one by one, they fell to the blades of Ichigo and the members of the Gote 13. Well, not all of them. Technically, we still have no idea what happened to Grimjow. Last we checked, he was down, not out. And thanks to a little novel tie-in published by Kubo, we also know that best girl Haribel is still kicking. This means they're going to be raring for a rematch, or perhaps might make for potential comrades in the war against the Quincy. Number 5. Anime Exclusive Fights Now this is exciting. According to posts made by Kubo, he and Studio Pierrot have decided to sprinkle in something a little extra for fans. They're going to be expanding on fights from the manga, as well as adding new, never-before-seen battles to the mix. 
given the sheer amount of characters that are going to be participating in the Soul Society Royal Rumble, there's a lot of choice on what they can add layers to, though there have been rumors that the Bambis will be getting more of a spotlight. If you don't know who they are, don't worry, you will. Number 4. Some Vizards are back as captains by the time Aizen was bested, there were more than a few empty spots left in the Gotei 13. Thankfully, some of the old guard decided to sign up on the payroll and refill their positions. <laughs> As of now, the likes of Shinji, Rose, and Kensei have taken up the mantle of captains once again, and given how each of them are power players in their own rights, any encroaching enemies are in for a bad time. <laughs> Wonder how many of the other Vizards didn't show up because they couldn't get a good dental plan. Number 3. Aizen is in prison Speaking of the almighty mullet, as it stands, he's currently dealing with Beyond Scared Straight Soul Society Edition. Despite getting himself a Mugets to the face and his all powerful MacGuffin being destroyed, Aizen isn't dead. Instead, he's bound and left to rot for the next 20,000 years or so. What the <laughs> Naturally, there's no way the biggest bad in Bleach is done yet. The only question is how is he going to escape, and when he does, whose side is he going to take in the ensuing conflict? Number 2. Ichigo has his Shinigami powers back. It took an entire arc of playing around as a depowered wannabe reaper, but finally, Ichigo got himself back on top as one of Shonen's strongest swordsmen. So how does one go about getting their Shinigami abilities back after they've been sacrificed to bring down butterfly god Aizen? Have everyone in Soul Society pour their own energy into a singular sword and stab him with it, of course. This in turn triggers the second coming of Ichigo. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The War Against the Quincy So who are the foes set to challenge the Shinigami Strawberry? Who are the primary villains that will give the Gotei 13 a run for their money across this sequel series? Well, that would be the Quincy, a race of hollow hunters who act independent of Shinigami. And from the looks of things, they're all set to lay waste to everyone standing in their way. Manga readers already know the kind of threat the Knights of the Quincy race pose, as well as their buckbeard of a leader. Let's hope they deliver in this new adaptation. Though, why the hell did they tell us that Ryuken was the last Quincy? Come on. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.